We're going to simplify the following expressions completely. Our first expression is x raised to the power of five halves divided by x raised to the power of one half. So because we're dividing and the bases are the same, we simplify using the quotient property of exponents shown here, where a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m minus n. So when we're dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. And notice how it's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. Which means x raised to the power of five halves divided by x raised to the power of one half is equal to x raised to the power of five halves minus one half. And notice how to find the difference. We already have a common denominator. Five halves minus one half is equal to four halves. So we have x raised to the power of four halves. The four halves is equal to two, and therefore the given expression simplifies to x squared, or x to the second power. Next we have t raised to the power of 20 thirds divided by t raised to the power of 11 fourths. Because we're dividing and the bases are the same, we simplify using the quotient property of exponents. So this is equal to t raised to the power of 20 thirds minus 11 fourths. Notice here, before we subtract, we need to find a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which would be the least common multiple of three and four. Because the least common multiple of three and four is 12, the least common denominator is 12, and therefore, we want to write 20 thirds and 11 fourths as equivalent fractions with denominators of 12, and therefore to write 20 thirds with the denominator of 12, we multiply the numerator denominator by four. To write 11 fourths with the denominator of 12, we multiply the numerator denominator by three. Notice now both denominators are 12. So this is equal to t, raised to the power of, this would be 80 twelfths minus, this would be 33 twelfths, which gives us t raised to the power of 80 twelfths minus 33 twelfths is equal to 47 twelfths. And 47 twelfths does not simplify because the only common factor between 47 and 12 is one. So this is the simplified expression of the given quotient. The last example we have two raised to the power of nine halves divided by two raised to the power of one fifth. Again, applying the quotient property of exponents, this is equal to two raised to the power of nine halves minus one fifth. Before subtracting, we need to determine a common denominator, which would be the least common multiple of two and five, which is 10. So to write nine halves and one fifth as equivalent fractions with denominators of 10, we'd multiply the numerator and denominator of nine halves by five. We multiply the numerator and denominator of one fifth by two. Notice now we have a common denominator of 10. So this is equal to two raised to the power of, this would be 45 tenths minus two tenths gives us two raised to the power of 45 tenths minus two tenths is equal to 43 tenths. And again, 43 tenths does not simplify because the only common factor between 43 and 10 is one. So this is a simplified form of the given quotient. I hope you found this helpful.